Hello, Blend enthusiasts. Today, I want to explore how Blender's lighting works in a little bit more depth. And what we will do today is we will match viewpoint render with an actual render. And let's talk about different shading modes and different settings for a bit. So right now, this grayscale viewport shading is, as you can see, a solid mode. I can pretty this up and make it more pronounced by turning on the cavity. There are two types of cavities and uh, you can actually mix them. And in this case, I think this is a little bit too much. Uh, let's turn that off and just maybe keep it on world. Another notable thing about this render view is that if you click on the sphere, there are actually multiple choices, pre-lit scenes, right? So with different types of uh, lights, with different angles and so on and so forth. You see this guy right here kind of gives me a scene that have a little bit more light in it and a little bit more pronounced. Now, what about this guy? So this guy actually is been lit right so and it's been lit by an hdri image which is this sphere right here and um, you can turn off the opacity uh, of the sphere and uh, uh, now you can actually see the hdri texture in your scene and that is what's creating the sliding uh, setup and this is a material preview viewport shading mode, right? And the last one is the render one. And watch what will happen if I click this. Something pretty cool actually will happen. So I'm clicking on it and the scene is lit. And um, also lighting includes the shadows uh, underneath my objects. And that is possible in the cycles rendering engine. And that is really, really cool. So, and the reason why this viewport looks like this is because in settings, what I did was I turned off scene world and scene light. And in my scene, I don't really have any type of light source. My scene is very, very dark. And the only lighting is coming from the background. And once again, what's happening here is uh, this viewport preview is lit by this HDRI map right there. You can say, well, uh, my scene is lit. Here's my camera. Uh, this is uh, my render. So I'm going to uh, actually make it small. So it renders a little faster. Turn this off. And when I render, my scene is like this. So my scene is not matching my viewport render. And the reason for that is that we don't have the same HDRI map lighting our background. So, because if you can see, this is the background shader and it only, you know, there's only color present. So the question is, how do you find those maps? And then how do you plug them here? So, and what I did was I went and I invest investigated where those maps were. So you can click on it and there's actually a choice of HDRI maps here. And if you hold your cursor over it, it actually will tell you its name and its extension. So with that, what I did was I went to quick search and I searched for interior XR and then I copy the path. And with that, I can now end also my add-ons node wrangler on. I can now click on uh, the background and I can press control T, and that will add three nodes, uh, one of which is an environment texture. So and what I'll do, I'll just go into open and I change this location by pasting the location that I just copied and press and enter. And that brings me to the directory. It's different on different people's computers, but it brings me to this directory. And now I can choose the texture that I want. So, and uh, the one that is a default one and I, I seen it's been lit with is this forest one. So I'm gonna choose this, open image. And now if I render, so I'm gonna press F11 to recall my render. So here is my old render. 
So I'm going to press two. So I go to slot two and I'm going to re-render this F12. And you can see that now my lighting in my render is matching the lighting in your viewport render. I hope that was helpful. We're Digital Monkey School. Please like us and subscribe to our channel. You can also support us by signing up for our online classes. We use Zoom as a platform. Alrighty, thank you very much. And I will talk to you in my next tutorial. Bye.